Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen how new organisms can be formed from the body parts of organism by regeneration and how the reproduction takes place by budding. In this video, we are going to see the process of asexual reproduction in plants, which is vegetative propagation. Now let us try to understand it. In vegetative propagation, what happens is that new plants are formed or produced from the parts of old plants like stems, roots or leaves. It is actually a very simple process. In fact, the simplest method of asexual reproduction in plants. So let's see how it happens. Parts of the old plants contain certain buds which are normally in their dormant stage, which means they are initially inactive. Now what happens is that when these parts are provided with suitable conditions like proper warmth or proper moisture, the buds which were initially inactive starts to grow and develops into a new plant. So you see the process is simple. Now you must have observed a common phenomena whenever it rains then after rains new grass springs up everywhere on the sides of the roads in the sidewalks through the concrete and even in the fields where you play which were dry earlier. Have you ever wondered what is the reason behind it? The reason is vegetative propagation. Although it is not very much visible to us, but the fields have dry stems of grass and these stems have inactive buds in them. When the rain falls on the buds, they get activated and the new grass is produced. This was the case of vegetative propagation through stem. Similar type of vegetative propagation through stem is observed in money plants. Let's take a money plant here. Here we can see this plant. Let's cut a piece of stem from this plant in such a way that it has at least one leaf in it. So we have to dip one of the end into the water and then after few days you will observe that new roots have started to develop from the end where the leaves is attached to the stem. The stem finally grows into a new plant and here you can see a new plant or the new money plant has grown. If we had cut the money plant in such a way that it has no leaves, then a new plant would have not developed. The reason behind this is that the point where the leaf attaches the stem is the growing point, which means the growth starts from this point. These points are called as nodes. The nodes which we have discussed are also present in the leaves of certain plants. For example, the bryophyllum plant. It has small buds on the leaves like you can see this here. These buds are produced in the notches along the leaf margin. When these buds fall on the soil, they grow into a new plant. You must have seen potato also. Its surface have buds or notches. These buds and notches are responsible for the vegetative propagation. When the potato is planted into a soil, these buds and notches grow into a new plant. All the phenomena which we have seen are the examples of natural vegetative propagation. These vegetative propagation techniques can be used in artificial methods like layering or grafting to grow sugarcane, roses or grapes. There are mainly two advantages of vegetative propagation. The first advantage is that the plant raised by vegetative propagation can bear fruits and flowers earlier than those produced from the seeds. Another advantage is that the plants produced are genetically similar enough to the parent plant to have all its characteristics. So in this video we have seen vegetative propagation. In the next video we are going to see the last method of asexual reproduction which is spore formation.